Good morning, guys, gals. Today, we are going to be constructing a rock dam. Continuing our water management in a natural way using natural resources. We are going to slow down and utilize the water that rarely frequents this land. This is a continuing effort or project that will go slowly on through the winter here. It's uh, working on this one wash. We have several washes. We have several issues that we need to address. Uh, one managing the watershed and I realized that I spoke to you guys about um, starting from the top and working down well normally we would start at the top of the hill and we come down but this is our first problem spot and it is the highest spot on our property for this particular wash so that's so I am starting up at the top and working my way down and we will through a series of videos show you how I manage this one wash all the way down until it exits my property on the other side. But you can see today that it's really hard to see what I did earlier in the previous video, but we put a level spillway and a shallow pond up there. And we are gonna continue to grade the rocks across this road so it comes level. Has to be absolutely level guys right here. Right here water flows over this where it's deteriorated completely to the bedrock but it's kind of interesting features here we have humps and bumps and low spots this is a really low spot here so the water comes in here probably does some circular action here and continues down and judging by walking further down here the damage done this is not slow moving water guys um, this is water that comes through here with a type of force that would probably be surprising to most. With any water structure, there is 10-year uh, floods, there's 20-year floods, there's 100-year floods. 100-year flood would probably come right up and fill this whole thing. And so any intervention of one rock dam systems or anything like that, that's unrealistic to control something like that. We're talking about the average rainfall here. Um, I believe it's 14 inches a year, which is actually more than Colorado, what we were getting up in Colorado, surprisingly. But um, we wanna manage this. We want to uh, not just let the water run off and be unused. We need to, because of the rarity of our rains here, uh, we need to really think about how we are going to sustain ourselves out here and if we want the dreams to be realized that we are after like having trees and other things like that um, we need to really figure out a sustainable and less cost um, methods of getting water here and watering the trees and such so we have that level spillway our first pond up above and we're not we are not like an imprisoning this water it is going to be it's just here temporarily it will continue its flow i'm not altering the, the direction of flow that this water is going to go i'm utilizing the low spots albeit you can mess it up you can uh put in systems that send will. the water in a direction that you had no idea it would go. We need to be careful about that. We need to follow the flow of the land, the natural waterways, and we are installing these systems uh, to benefit us, to reduce destruction and stuff like that. I am going to utilize the geography that's already here. I'm not going to be doing any digging or anything. I'm gonna use, I might put down because this is bedrock, might put down a little bit of sand and some mixed uh i could even throw in old brush if i wanted to anything that's going to catch that settlement that's coming down and plug all those openings 
and you know sticks and branches come down they'll accumulate just think of a beaver dam right uh they don't plug every hole in a beaver dam eventually the mud and the slime and the silt and all that stuff fills all in between those logs and sticks and that's what holds the water back so at first i can understand you're going to be like well it's on bedrock it's all just going to wash away but we're hoping that the water has been slowed down enough right up here, just enough to carry over and not destroy this one rock dam system. You can just see what I'm gonna do, but hope you like this series It's gonna go on. It might not be in order because we have other videos to put out also, but I'm just gonna film this stuff and in hopes that when monsoon comes around, you and I will be able to see if this all worked. So I'm putting in my efforts now and we are going to see how it worked in monsoon season. I'll come back here with my camera and rain gear and we'll sit out in the rain for you guys and we'll witness what happens. But until then, you're just gonna see all these dry construction methods. I'm gonna try to show you what I see. And it's very hard to film this kind of stuff because we're on a slope and you don't see all the, all the rocks are all grayed out, so you don't see the details. As you can see, bedrock. I'm trying to see, just by eyeballing, where this spillway is gonna be up here. Uh, and I'm trying to see what landforms down here are at that same height. We don't want the water to backfill so much that it's gonna come back over this road. We do want the water to fill up fill up so it's about right there right where the bedrock starts and so i'm looking here and i'm seeing i have a rock wall right here this is all natural it has been washed out rock wall rock wall deep depression deeper depression comes up here again we have this line here to reference from so about right here coming down so if you can visualize that that's the easiest and most effective place I could put in a step down rock dam so that I have a second pond but alas there is a second option instead of going where the lowest spot is and finding a level bump to build upon there is the other option that I find a high spot in the wash and I just put a bridge of stone right across here instead. It will make my pond a lot lower, but it would be less work, um, less of a structure to be wiped out. And if it did get wiped out, it could be repaired easily as where if I had decided to go from way up here and cross over to here. There's a lot more chances that that could fail. And if it fails, it requires a few more hours of fixing it. But none of these solutions guys, uh, are tested out by me. I am completely going by just what, like a little common sense, you know. Um, and I've done a lot of reading and research. This isn't all me, I didn't just go to bed one night and dream up all this but I do do dream of these land features and how I could implement certain systems into it that would benefit us as homestead owners but uh, yeah I'm done talking I guess I'm not done talking there is a lot to be said about observing observation a lot of my time is just sitting around looking at what's going on uh, a lot of things aren't that obvious or that noticeable until you take the time to sit back and really ponder it uh, a lot of a lot of the baggage i bring from the city is that i have impatience and um, that could be very detrimental when you're working with any kind of system out here in the country it's a uh, out here you need to reset your time clocks and 
remember you're not on a schedule yeah you want to get these things done and you want to get them done fast or efficiently but sometimes it's just not worth it because you rush through something and obviously uh, you might be doing it twice or three times or many times for that matter so I'm just gonna sit here for a while I'm gonna see if there's any better ideas I could come up with All right, so let me kind of explain some of the epiphanies I've had. <laughs> uh, let's turn this camera around. So I put some rock here, I put some sand on top. That's my base. Now, if you can see here, this is a big hump in the middle. This would actually be like an island, I guess, when this is all filled up with water. But you can see this is being cut in here and it hits this bank and flows back here and comes around. Now my concern is that this bank is going to be the new cut. Water is going to cut right through this bank and skip this whole thing. So I'm going to shore up this bank, bringing it up more level with the top of this boulder here. So the water has no other where to go except on this bedrock here. So I'm going to backfill this. Water will still come over it. But if I backfill it, it will be less shallow, it will have less grip to cut into this bank. So that's what I'm going to be doing over the next hour or so. This is the next day. Um, I wanted to come down here and show you what I did yesterday. So as you all know, I took rocks, shored up this bank here, because that was a low spot, and I felt that this whole thing would get washed out eventually if I did too much intervention down here. I also put sand upon it all and tamped it. So water now is going to come down around here get slowed down by this hump come over and drop same thing with here it's going to come down here and speed bump come down here hit this board dam and go over and continue downstream because it's a new day i have a new job to do so we are going to now in case all these humps and bumps that i put in here we're going to encase them with a uh, stone so there's a method to it i start from the bottom i work my way up um, this keeps it from getting washed out and wiped out to see what we're looking at um, this is a ORD otherwise known as a one rock dam meaning that it's roughly one rock thick nothing more than that um, although I did make a base to it to make it stronger the one rock dam is made for cascading so usually you'd fill this whole bottom up with rock too but because I got bedrock, I don't need to do that. So I'm fortunate there. All right, we wanted to show you what we've been working on up here on our driveway. This is actually I'm not going to say we because Doug has done all this work and I've been busy doing other stuff. <laughs> so we're not going to say we. This is what Doug has been busy doing. Um, 
we have a wash that comes down this hill right here. You can see it comes under our fence line and then it crosses the driveway. And it's not like a raging wash, but there gets to be quite a bit of water in there. And under our driveway, I think it's bedrock. It's either that or it's caliche, which is also a real hard rock. So we can't really go through the rock. So we kind of have to go over it. So Doug did this genius water flow control. I, he showed it to you in the last video, but I just want to show you again. And um, he did such a good job. So there's the wash coming down. And he dug, it's hard to tell from the video, but this is kind of a, a pool or a pond. And then what he's done is he's added gabion kind of they're not really posts but they're just baskets on either side and built up either side and then he's making it so the water is going to flow it should flow pretty slowly but wide and shallow and it'll come over as this pond fills up and it'll spill it'll, it's a spillway so it'll spill over and it'll cross the driveway the tractor is kind of in the way but it comes out the other side so it just is going to help slow it down and then over on this side I'll show you what he's done so we've shown you pictures of our dog willow this little area pools up with water during the monsoons and she absolutely loves to jump and play and swim in it and so doug decided to go ahead and just make this little water catchment area a little bit bigger and that'll also essentially help slow the water down as it continues down the wash and goes down the side of our property. So this is what he's done. And again, it's hard to tell with the depth, but this is going to be, it's pretty deep once the water comes over the road and starts filling up and then it'll pool over and go down that way. And then, and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, Doug's lifting these rocks. They're actually mostly, I think, lava type rocks or caliche type rocks so they're not as heavy as they might look but Doug's been pulling those oh he says they're way heavier than they look <laughs> but he's been collecting them on the tractor throughout the property and using those to build this so he's doing such a really nice job and it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with the water and we know that We've never really done this before. We're just going off of what we've read and what we've seen other people do. So we're not 100% sure that it's going to work. We hope it works, but we're also okay with the fact that it might not work the way we want it to the first time. And we might have to tweak it and kind of change the way we've put it together. But we're okay with that because we're learning as we go, right? <laughs> You're doing a great job. It's a really gorgeous day out here. We get these beautiful, clear... Oh, look at the sky. We get these gorgeous sunny days and it's not too hot. I think today it's only in the 60s, which is a little cool, I think, for this time of year. I think normally it's in the 70s, but we'll take it, especially when I know when Doug's doing heavy work like this, he prefers it a little cooler. Okay. Doug can probably explain this better than I can. So we're rounding up to be done with this part here. So now I got to come back over here and put a spillway oh, yeah. coming down here. Otherwise the road will erode. So I need to put a spillway that's gonna be the same height as the road. And the road lifts this way, so the water should come over. I'm gonna backfill this with more gravel and stone to make a channel here. And then once the channel's here, I plan on putting big boulders here to so people don't off the cliff and into the pond. That's another kind of a pond right there. And then it just continues down. And you can see after this last area that he's been working on, see that right there? Right, oops, sorry, giant finger. Right there, that's rock. That's all just a solid rock. And then the wash continues down. So again, we're going to use the one rock method and we're just going to start at the bottom and work our way up until we're level with the with the driveway. All right, 
right, people of the rebel forces. <laughs> I am too pooped to finish tonight, so I'm gonna go relax and do stuff that doesn't relate, have to do with lifting things. I'm gonna go have a seat, eat some grub, and I'll return back in the morning to finish up this. Well, 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 good morning, guys. I look a whole lot cleaner this morning, don't I? <laughs> Took a shower, got some rest, and now I'm up here on the top. Remember this trail I was talking about, how I drag all the rocks down and everything? Well, this is all clean rock now. This is what I'm gonna backfill along the driveway. Um, you'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish up this one water project and there's not much else to say except uh, I did wanna discuss that these ponds also serve as not only a hydration method, but a, a distribution for minerals and elements that are found up up on this mountain here an old volcano <laughs> imagine back then this thing was throwing rocks miles and miles away and most of them landed on our property it seems but all those fine particulates they get washed down the washes and they'll get caught in those ponds that i made and from there, I can come back with a shovel, right? After a monsoon or something like that and scoop up some of those minerals and put them in beds, raised beds and such. And so I just wanted to point that out. It's not all about just the water. It's also about the minerals and nutrients that these, that uh, typical plants need and might be lacking and we're gonna use those ponds as mineral distribution centers also. But I'm gonna do a lot of tractor work today and hopefully I don't have to lift a whole lot of rocks with my own hands. And now, the time you've all been waiting for, when I demonstrate a magnificent feat of strength. That uh, seriously made me dizzy. Uh, seriously, guys. So, we're almost done. Um, as much as I'm going to do today. Let me flip this around so you can see what we're doing. Alright, spillway. Sheet flow spillway. So, that's going to make the water spread around. I've got all these rocks mounted up. I've got this all secured. Bank is secured. This here, I bet you one of you smart people out there can figure out what's wrong with this. I'll give you a few seconds. What is wrong with this? What would you change? All right, time's up. So right here, I can knock this off. I can knock all these rocks off. It just making everything look like this is super low and this is super high but in fact if i take these rocks off here we will have not an optical illusion anymore that this side is way higher but i can take those rocks off and make it look much better so let's do a quick tour before i demonstrate that magnificent feat of strength that yours truly <laughs> We'll end the video with. Okay, so we got first dam, we got second dam, or first pond, second pond. It's a lot of rocks, guys. A lot of rocks, a lot of sand, a lot of gravel. This is to keep runoff, it's to direct runoff. Come up here, sheet flow spreader. Come up here, we'll give you a different angle. And then we have our spillway our contour level spillway pond second pond mini waterfall end of my property so i have a lot of trails and swales i still need to do up here so i'm not going to go ahead and put this gravel in yet because i'm going to be great in this thing for till kingdom come right 
Uh, but I did put this little row here to show where I need to raise it up a little bit. But it is going to go down, down this little channel over the spillway. And we got these banks right here, guys. So bank, he'll catch anything coming down off the road. Hopefully it gets over the speed bump, flows down. Same with up here. I'm going to direct water on this side of the road. will come over here, spill in. Water on this side of the road or in the middle will flush down here, go in. So I am not impeding this wash. I have secured it so it will remain a beautiful wash forever and ever, hopefully. <laughs> but it will work for us also, guys. So I cheated. <laughs> uh, but that is rebellion at its best, folks. And that's the end of this video.